Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're talking about multiplying with exponents. So let's look at an example to make sure this is the correct video for you. We have x squared times x cubed. Since these are like bases, I'm going to simplify that to x to the fifth. Okay? What is the rule for that exponent? And here are the rules. Okay? When you have like bases, you're going to add the exponents. So when you're multiplying the like bases, you will add exponents. So let's go back and look at this problem, and then we're going to look at a couple more in one quick challenge problem. So we have x and x, which are our like bases. We have x squared and x cubed, and the rule is when you multiply like bases, you will add the exponents. So we're going to take 2 plus 3, which is 5, so that is x to the fifth. Okay, common mistake is students will say that's x to the sixth. Okay, let's look at one that actually has two different variables in it, an x and a y. Okay, let's look at our like bases. We have x to the fifth, and over here we have x to the second. So we're going to add the exponent 5 and 2 to get x to the seventh. Now on the y exponent, be very careful, we have a y. And then we have a y to the 8th. When there's not an exponent listed, we assume that it is 1. So I'm going to go ahead and write that 1 there to remind me to add 1 plus 8 to get our answer of 9. So the answer would be x to the 7th, y to the 9th. Now let's look at a quick challenge problem. The challenge problem, what do you do when you have coefficients and exponents? And the rules are you're going to multiply the coefficients just like the rule says. We're multiplying. Okay, but then we're going to go back and add exponents because exponents take a step lower than the coefficients. So let's look at our example here. This is the challenge problem. The rule is we multiply the coefficient. The coefficient here is 2x uh, squared times 5x cubed y. I'm going to take the coefficient of 2 and the coefficient of 5, and I'm going to go ahead and multiply those together. So 2 times 5 is 10. Then I'm going to use my rules of exponents. I have an x, x squared times x cubed. We did that up at the top, and that is x to the fifth. And then we have a y by itself. We're not multiplying by another y, so it just stays y to the first. So there's our answer. Hope this was helpful.